Robo Papa. Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to do a second video about uh, the pucks. Um, last time I did uh, an introduction to the puck and how to um, start it and install it and uh, write some simple uh, program. Uh, what I want to do today is actually show you how you can control um, um, from one puck to uh, different pucks. Um, as you can see in the little video um, on the side of the screen, um, I'm pressing basically one puck and it's running a program to check the battery level and then it's showing up um, on the other pucks. Uh, the way to do it, uh, the puck itself has a NRF um, option and um, it's controlling and can run basically programs in other pucks thanks to that. So the way I did that is I ran the same program on all of the pucks um, and what it does is basically this main function the show battery level and all it does is uh, check in to see if any LED is on and if it is on it turns it off um, and returns because that means um, you don't need to show anything. If it's not on um, we're looking on the battery level and then it's turning on the green if it's more than 75 percent the blue if it's more than 40 percent so between 40 to 75 and if it's less than 40 you will turn the red one so you know that your battery level is low so that is the main function now the way that we get to that is by pressing a button so we put a watch on the button itself you can see over here that the button and what it will run is the broadcast and the broadcast is calling that show battery level over here so which means that the puck that I'm pressing first before it calls all the other pucks it will actually do that battery level on itself and then we'll find all the devices and uh, I'm outputting over here the length of it and then we'll start executing uh, calling execute on the devices with an index the execute itself like I said it's taking all the list of the devices and start iterating through them um, using a recursive function um, we'll check first if we saw if we got all the way to the end of the um, devices and if we're not, I'm not putting over here a couple of uh, uh, logs, but I'm checking to see if it has a, um, if the device has its a property name uh, name, call name, um, and if it starts with puck.js, uh, because it's looking through a Bluetooth, you might have other devices, um, and they will not have maybe the property uh, name, and if they do, they might be like not on puck.js. That way, I can filter all the pucks that are, are basically connected and in the NRF um, area. Um, then I'm going and getting the connection um, and it's a promise um, so we can do that asynchronously. Um, that's that's why we have the den over here. Um, I'm outputting some console, uh, console over here, uh, logs, and I'm start to do the get primary device and this is um, the ID of the primary device for the NRF um, and if I have that I'm actually returning it uh, that uh, PS um, if I have an error I'm actually logging it but then I'm calling the execute again and the reason for that is that sometimes the NRF is just failing it, it times out or it just fails so that's in a way a retry um, option uh, we can be more robust that way you can know how many retries you want to do um, but for this example I didn't go that deep um, so when we getting the the, the gut itself um, I'm basically getting the service so I'm once again I'm returning the characteristics of that service and here's the idea again of that and when we coming back from that I'm writing the value show battery level. So this is basically what is being called. So I know that every puck has this function, the show battery level. So by the end, when it goes through all those steps to get the characteristics, I can actually tell it to write to uh, run the battery level. Um, when it's done after this, if the gut is not null, which means that I was able to find something, I'm trying to disconnect it and then I'm writing the execute with the next one. So that's when I'm moving to the next level of uh, uh, for the next uh, device in the NRF. 
So I will press over here and right now the, the button. I'm already connected to one of the pucks and you will be able to see um, the output of all the, the things that they found. Here's one of the pucks and it's executing it. Here's the second puck and then it's done. And when I press it again, it will turn off all the, the lights and it will run them again. Um, so you can see here's one of the pucks over here and here's the second one. So the first puck with the ID and then the second puck. And that is your the gut server and the characteristics and then we're done. So that's how you can actually control one puck with different pucks. Um, the, really the, the things you can do over here are limitless. Um, so that's it for, for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you have any questions or any comments. Leave them uh, down below in the comment area. Um, as always, don't forget to subscribe or now with a new feature from uh, YouTube, uh, bell. Uh, you can click the bell to get notifications. Um, yeah, uh, just stay tuned for uh, next week and uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks, guys.